Hey, what's up guys? It's Gathalion and welcome back to Destiny. And another exotic weapon review and overview. So we're going to go ahead and get into it. Today we're taking a look at the Universal Remote, which is an interesting weapon because it's a primary shotgun. And it allows for some cool combinations like a shotgun with a fusion rifle or with a sniper rifle. You get it. Um, basically, it uses your primary slot, uses primary ammo, and it's not that bad. I've had a lot of people say they don't really like it, but I've really grown um, kind of accustomed to using this shotgun, especially in the Crucible. And it's pretty decent inside the Iron Banner as well because it does a lot of damage. And because of certain perks it has, it can do a lot of damage from range. It's probably the longest range shotgun I've played with. So we're going to go over the perks. It's got uh, smooth ballistics, soft ballistics, and CQB ballistics. Also, it's got crowd control, which gives you bonus damage after killing an enemy for a short period of time. And then it's got hammer forged, which is a great increase to range. And for a shotgun, that is incredible. It's got lightweight um, which makes you run quicker and jump higher, all that shit. I don't really use lightweight all that much. And it's got snapshot, which I kind of ignore as well. I kind of think that hammer forged is probably the best perk you're going to get out of this thing because this shotgun is all about that mid-range. Not that close range, that mid-range. Especially when you get into the universal remote perk. Range and precision damage increase greatly while aiming down sights. And... By greatly, it really means greatly. It's a pretty significant buff to your range. You can use this thing at a pretty significant mid-range. Um, we're going to go ahead and demonstrate on a couple dregs here. This shotgun is pretty fun to use inside of um, PvP. Um, you could get a few feet away from a character. That's about where the damage falls off. It does have a bit of a reload um, delay. Slow reload, but, you know, it's... Like I said, good in the Crucible, because you're going to be able to go at a mid-range against enemies, and you don't really got to get to that point blank. You can come around a corner, see a guy around a hallway, take him out from a mid-range, rather than having to close the gap, which is a lot of the time what fucks you over as a shotgun user inside the Crucible, especially in tighter corridor places. You can still find yourself needing to get into that close range. Also, the increased precision damage is pretty fucking awesome. So, you can pretty much count on a one-shot kill from this thing at a mid-range inside of the Crucible and Iron Banner. Definitely recommend this weapon. If you have one, absolutely upgrade it before you count it out. It is kind of a um, an acquired taste kind of weapon, as some of the exotics are. But I personally really like it. And I would give this thing a solid 8 out of 10 as far as it goes with... Uh, with exotic weaponry. Um, there are a few other primaries that I might use before this. For one, the Suros is amazing in PvP, and but it's not so great in PvE. I have a lot of fun doing mobbing and, um, and patrols and shit with this weapon. So that'll about do it, guys. If you found a universal remote, where did you get it from? And how do you like it? Let me know. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys back inside Destiny.